Welcome back, Northwest Fencing Center. Today we're going to be doing our fifth in our HIT workout series. So HIT stands for High Intensity Interval Training, and it's a great way to get an intense workout that you can do on a daily basis to build up your strength and endurance. Today's main focus is going to be on abs. We're going to be doing a lot of planks and lunges, and it's going to be a series of those two things back to back in different ways to really push yourself and challenge those parts of your body. So with that, remember, before you get started, check the description. You should be able to find our HIT Tabata Timer app through the App Store or the Google Play Store. Remember, also check the description because the workout I'm about to show you and walk you through is also going to be in the description, and so you can be able to then download that, print it out, and then use that to follow through and help guide you as you go. So, after you get those things, let's go ahead and get started. So, today's workout, like I said, is going to be a plank and lunge focus. So we're going to be doing, again, 30 second intervals. So we're going to start with our standard plank. I'll walk you through the, each of these, followed by our 15 seconds of rest in between all of our workouts. Next, we're going to be doing a pop-up lunge. We're going to be doing a walking lunge, and we're going to pop up with a jump. So we're going to give a little bit of plyometrics to it, a little bit of power, uh, as well as that flexibility and strength on the lunge. Then we're going to go into our right side plank. Okay, next thing after our right side plank, we're going to work into our pivoting lunges. So we're going to pivot in place, going left to right hand side, kind of an alternative on a lateral lunge, and then we're going to pop, and then we'll just pivot back and forth. And then we'll follow it up with a left side plank, and we're going to go into a reverse pop up lunge, and then we're going to give ourselves 60 seconds of break before we start over. So we're going to do a lot of different things with our with our with our planking, as well as our lunges. So with that, we're going to go ahead and look at our Tabata timer app. So we got our hip app. We have everything loaded again. When we focus on our hit, hit timer, we're gonna give ourselves 15 seconds to prepare once we hit the start button. We're gonna be doing 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest between, six cycles total, six different exercises, and we're gonna go through them four times. We're gonna provide ourselves 60 seconds of rest in between. If you need to at this time, grab a water bottle, have a quick drink before you get started. Boom, once you're ready, you'll, get, you'll hit the start button. And remember, if you need to, it, all of this information is going to be on the top of our workout sheet, nice and small, but that way you can pre-program your hit timer with all of that. This is again going to be about a 20 minute workout once you hit that start button. So once you know what you're doing, hit the start button and go, and then every day you can basically clock it in. You know exactly how long this is going to take it for you, so you can squeeze it in when you have a, a free moment. So with that, we take our list, we're going to come back over, so we're going to be working on a lot of different core stuff. So First one we're going to be doing is a standard plank. So we're just going to be working from standard plank position, elbows on the mat, and we're going to really work on heel, hip, and shoulders all in one straight line. And we're going to be able to maintain this position and hold that for 30 seconds. If it hurts your elbows, you can always do it in a push-up plank position on your hands. You can raise the level by doing planks with taps while you're going, or even up-downs. So depending on what level of challenge you want, on this one in particular, that's your standard plank. And you're just going to be holding that for 15 seconds. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to stand up because we're going to be working between our planks and our lunges. So the next thing we're going to do is our pop-up lunge. With our pop-up lunge, we're going to do a standard lunge. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to keep my hands close to my body, reach out with my lunge, come close to the ground, and then I'm going to pop up. And really come back to that center position. I'm going to step back and then step forward. Get close to the ground, come back to that center, and I'm going to keep alternating my right side with that quick jump back up, and then step out left side. You have some hands on your hips either, too. Alternating. So whenever we talk about those pop-ups, that's what we're talking about. That Quick jump, reset to center, step it back out. That's gonna be our first one, which is our standard pop-out lunge. Next, we're going back to our mat. We're gonna do the next side, which is just gonna be on the right-hand side. So, elbow down, and then have my hand on my hip. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Maintain that straight line for the side plank. I wanna raise the level, I can keep my hand up, so it's a little bit harder for me to balance. When I raise the level again, I can do it with one leg up and hold it from here. I can want to continue to raise a level, 
I could also be opening and closing my leg while I do my side plank. So we're going to do a right hand side plank for 30 seconds. After that, we'll get back up. We're going to work that pivoting lunge. So that pivoting lunge is going to be where we're going to be here doing our first lunge out. Now we're just going to pivot from here. So we're going to continue to be here. We're going to come up. We're going to pivot on our feet. Come back down. Come up. In that V position. Square forward. Pivot. Heel and toe. Heel and toe back to center. Alternate heel and toe. Come down. Heel and toe back to the middle. To the side. So we're going to continue to do these pivot lunges. Down, up, down. We just want to get into a nice smooth cadence. Once you get the coordination down, you can really pick up the pace and push yourself to get your pivot lunges moving smoothly. And that's going to be 30 seconds on your pivot lunge. Next, we're going to go back down to our plank. Same position, now we're just going to work the opposite side. So again, now I'm on the left hand side. Hand up, hand on my hip. Whatever I want, main thing, maintain that straight line. 30 seconds now on the opposite side. Uh, getting that left side now with my plank. 30 seconds pass, I get my quick break, check my list. All right, next thing I have is that reverse pop-up lunge. So the reverse pop-up lunge is now, instead of stepping forward like we had been, we're gonna be a lightly, we're gonna step back Get low, come back, and now from here, we'll do the same thing. Small step forward, big step back, and then pop back up. Small step forward, really just like a half step, really reach back. If you can, you go really, hit that low position, get in the core, head, shoulders straight up, pop back up, small step out, big step back, pop back up. Half step forward, big step back, and pop up. Really try to be as powerful and explosive on these pop ups as you can. So we're really working on going low and slow down, and then very explosive as we pop back up. That's all six of our exercises for the day. So today, if you do that, you'll get your 60 seconds of break, quick drink of the water, check your list, and you're gonna know that you're gonna go back to your standard plank. So by the end of this, your, your core, and your quads should really get a great workout. But core strength is gonna maintain balance and prevent injuries. And quad strength is gonna allow you to really be moved uh, for a long period of time as well as be very explosive. Very important skills as a fencer. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel so you can get updates when we post new videos and content. Remember to go through that description and download the timer and use those for all of our hit apps. Uh, workouts as well as to work, download and print out that workout. Again, can't stress this enough guys, it is so important on these workouts to do them when you can but to try to do them on a regular basis. We're trying to provide a lot of these good short workouts so there's something you can squeeze in almost any time we're going to have 20 minutes in our day that we could sneak out, have our timer workout and be able to go. The Tabata timer is such a great way to push yourself even when you're alone and each of these intervals is so small, it's really uh, motivating to push yourself to get past that one and keep going. Next thing you know, 20 minutes has passed, you're dripping in sweat, and you feel very good about yourself for having gone the extra mile on your training and on your personal fitness. Thanks again for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you in the future. Stay fit.